Hey, welcome to the channel today. Uh, so we had the season reset last uh, last night, or yeah, late last night for me, obviously, probably for everybody. Anyway, so uh, early in the morning, woke up to find my draft chest there, and it's kind of hard to uh, actually get up and record because they make you open that chest the first thing. And usually when I am playing, I love to... Uh, Dude, I absolutely love. Sorry, I'm absolutely love to play first thing in the morning because I'm because I am super wasted in the morning. I am so tired that I do not know what to do. So I, I had to open it up and I recorded it for you guys, but it, this isn't live. But anyway, I'll kind of show you what I got and kind of my thought processes here going through this draft chest. So first things first, I got the Royal Giant because I had less of those bad boys and so I decided I'd go with the Royal Giant. Um, boom Boom, Musketeer, been trying to get those things for years now. I did not get the hill spell because I wasn't using that that much. Then of course I'm going to go with Skeleton Army because that will be my first level 6 epic card, which I'm super excited about. And then it gave me a choice between the Graveyard and the Bandit. And I was torn here for about 18 minutes straight. I stood there just thinking, oh, dude, what? What? Because I don't have the Bandit. But then again, I love playing with the Graveyard and I wouldn't mind getting that bad boy up to level 3. I'm only... If I take this one, two away from a level three graveyard. So what am I to do? I'm not sure if I'm going to use the bandit a lot. I might. Who knows? And I'm not sure, you know, how much I'm actually going to be using the graveyard. Do I want to collect all the cards? <laughs> do I need it? Or will I get the bandit in a free chest in like a day or two? So ultimately, ultimately, I decided, I decided, you know, you know what? I'm just going to go with the graveyard. I'm, I'm going to do it. So I went with the graveyard, and that's pretty much all she wrote on that deal. Um, I think the graveyard is going to be better for me in the long run, so is what it is. Is what it is, guys. So that's what I did there. Um, draft chest. What did you guys get in your draft chest? Uh, super excited about it. The only problem with this is the season reset, when it starts over, dude, it is chaos. It is utter chaos down here at the bottom, especially since I'm going to be trying this new deck here. I've played like twice. And I did um, pretty good with it. You know, a couple of victories. The first time I played with it, I lost. So I lost one and then won two with it right before the season reset. So I practiced a couple times with it. Don't worry, guys. We're going right into some craziness right here, and we're going to play it. I don't care who you are. We're going to do good with this. The Battle Ram is insanely cool. It is so cool. Um, I got it up to level 8, so not super stellar against all these level 400 guys that are coming down to play at the level 4000s right now but it should do decent it should do decent so right now here he's gonna put bowler on that side so I'm gonna I should have put oh, I should have put the lava hound on the same side that's my bad again guys so he's pretty much gonna take out that entire side unfortunately and he's probably got graveyard unfortunately um, so we'll see what we can do here we will see what we can do oh good he went that way. So we're going to go this way just to take out the bowler in case he has a graveyard. Yep, he has graveyard. Oh, poison. I can poison. So that was a waste of skeletons for me. My bad. When I can just poison that. So he's going to tornado my lava hound to activate the king tower. Excellent job on his part. Oof. This is going to be an uphill battle the entire game now. This is just going to be horrible. So we'll use that right there. And then we will also use our electro wizard. Should take out the knight and the minion pretty well. And then we'll just put our battle ram right in there and just get right to town, shall we? Should do good. Should get all the way to the tower. Come on, baby. Oh, dang, so close, guys. So close. So close. Once that thing gets to the tower, dude, it is GG. GG, basically. Come on now. Um, so Mega Minion coming in. We'll put down that for that. And then we will also poison his graveyard again. And then we should do pretty dang well against his graveyard and his... Uh, yeah, that's not a problem. Okay, he got a little bit more damage than I'd hoped, unfortunately. And once it... Dude, his King Tower is still activated. So with the Knight, I'm just going to use the Skeletons this time. I'm going to put Skeletons over here since he has a little damage off on him. And then I'll put my Lava Hound down. And then we should be able to take that Knight out all the... Oh yeah, with Skeletons. That's a positive elixir trade, if I do say so myself. He's got skeletons coming in as well. So what we are going to do is we should be able to take the battle ram and the goblin gang. And the battle ram will go boom, boom, get in there. We should be able to zap that just so we can get the battle ram to the tower. Perfect. And then we should be able to do that. And then we'll poison the graveyard. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Wait. Wait for it. Does he have two minions? He has two minions coming our way. So that is a problem, guys. That is seriously a problem. We're going to have to poison all that. And then I will save my goblin gang for his graveyard. How about that? That'll work out just fine. And then we'll put a battle ram in there just for fun. Ooh. That was a horrible, horrible battle ram. He has a poison of his own. He uses a tornado. Excellent tornado, really. Ooh, this is going to be a grudge match, people. Okay. Maybe if I didn't waste elixir the whole night, then I think we would do a little bit better. Mega minion for his knight. Ooh, crap, 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 crap. Good play. Good play. I did not see that bowler coming. So we'll do that. And then I got to use poison again. Got to use that poison. And then I'm going to send the gang in there. Maybe we should get... If we can get the Goblin Gang in there, he used a horrible tornado, and we'll zap that. I think we should have tower there. I think we should. <laughs> nice. Okay, that worked out pretty good. That's not a bad deck for the chaos that's going on down here. Um, let's try that again. Let's get right back into it and see if we can't do just as well this next time here. Sorry about the phone calls, guys. Um, See if we can't do this to get back up there. I would love to get Challenger 2 right away this season and then push towards uh, a new personal best this month is what I'm going for. You guys are all in the same boat probably. Um, let's see. So we'll put Lava Hound down there um, just because. Um, I don't know. And we'll put Mega Minion behind just to take out his Mega Minion. He should be focused on my Lava Hound. And then we'll put Goblin Gang to take out his soul graveyard that's just going to hang out all by itself and now if we can get the battle ram in there um i think we probably have a oh yes dude <laughs> oh my heck we should have a freaking uh pretty good push here i think those he did pretty good with the uh, uh, uh dropping your e-wiz it did okay for him i guess no, I don't think it did okay for him. We took the tower. <laughs> so, I don't know why you would drop a lone graveyard at the start of the game when you don't know what I have. I don't know what he has, but whatever. That's okay. I think we're up on him. Well, we have a tower down, and I think we're up on him on Elixir, too. So, we're doing pretty dang good against Emmanuel. So, we're going to drop that and that. This could be a little bit of a problem. I think we're going to have to drop the gang. And then I will have to uh, zap all that because... Did he activate? Yes, he did. That is excellent. So we should be able to send this... Oh, man. Dang it. Uh, you know what? I don't think we're going to be able to do very well, so I'm just going to let that push die and get ready for his counter push again now that I know that he has the giant graveyard, the new meta. So we'll just wait again for his push. We'll put Lava Hound clear up here. That way, Electro Wizard won't hit our tower at all. And then we'll put Mega Minion down for his Mega Minion. And then we will put... Hmm. Excellent. Excellent. So we should be able to do that. And then get that Battle Ram. Oh, dang it, dude. He got that coming. Dang it. That's okay. We should be able to take out his Bowler pretty well. And oh, did the Battle Ram still get to the tower? Even with the Bowler tanking it? Dude, that's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Oh, crap. Wasting. Wasting elixir. Let me know. Gosh dang it. Okay, so we should be able to do that, that. And I know he's out of elixir. That's why he said wow. So he's super mad that we're doing this. I'm just going to save my poison for his graveyard. That way he can't get anything off on me. And he's going to be super pissed about that. I would be pissed about that. So that was a pretty good play too, in my opinion. We'll use Goblin Gang for his E-Wiz. We should be able to take his E-Wiz out. Put another Lava Hound down. We'll just keep coming his way. Just keep bringing the heat. We're just going to keep bringing he laughs. <laughs> he knows what's happening. He knows exactly what is happening. So that game was pretty much... That game's toast. That's excellent. Um, you know what, guys? We got a good week coming up. I have another build tutorial coming out this week that is kind of related to the last one so super excited about that that should be pretty fun um then we have a couple other things going on this week that i'm super excited about and i don't know dude season reset is always crazy so i don't know if i'm going to be putting on some more ladder play um where am i at? dude i'm already up okay so i won the first three matches actually having a solid season start right here one two three four five Okay, actually not too bad. Okay, the first the first two that you saw there were from 
before the season reset but super excited to get into the new season here I dude I love these new seasons they're super exciting and super excited to see what we have in store for us this month I uh, have a couple great builds coming up um, I don't know if I'm gonna tell you but I got, I got a couple of great builds coming up this month it's also my anniversary this month so May is a great month the Sun's gonna start shining and everybody's gonna start playing out there and everything so dirt bike and season starts super excited about that as well but anyway keep on uh, clashing and hey good luck <laughs> 